The United States and other NATO countries should give Ukraine the ability to strike targets deep inside Russia in response to North Korea sending troops to help the occupiers, said House Intelligence Committee Chairman Republican Mike Turner. In addition, he also advocates directly attacking North Korean troops if they are found on Ukrainian territory, writes Voice of America. The United States currently has a policy that Ukraine cannot use weapons provided to it by NATO countries and the United States to attack actual military targets in Russia. So, for example, if Russia uses a military system to attack Ukraine from Russian territory, Ukraine cannot attack that system in response with U.S. weapons or local systems, Turner said. According to him, the U.S. presidential administration now believes that Ukraine's alleged retaliatory strike on Russian territory could be a provocation, while he states that the first strike from Russia should have been a provocation. Turner has previously explained that the participation of North Korean troops in the war against Ukraine should be considered a red line for NATO and the U.S. in particular. It is reported that Ukraine's allies should not rule out an attack on them in the event of the actual use of North Korean soldiers in the war. I think the United States and NATO allies should seriously discuss and consider attacking directly North Korean forces if they are in Ukraine and attacking it. North Korean forces do not belong in Europe. They should not be attacking a European country, Turner added. The article states that the congressman also stressed that it is in NATO's interests to prevent Asian and in particular North Korean communist troops from marching in Europe. Recently, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said that North Korean troops wearing Russian uniforms and carrying Russian equipment are moving toward Ukraine in what he called a dangerous and destabilizing development. The US and South Korea say some of the North Korean troops are heading to Russia's Kursk region on the border with Ukraine, where the Kremlin's forces have struggled to push back a Ukrainian incursion. Some North Korean advance units have already arrived in the Kursk region, and Austin said the likelihood is pretty high that Russia will use the troops in combat. Residents on Friday assessed the damage caused to their town after flooding devastated Spain's Valencia region. Two days after the deluge started on Tuesday, authorities say they have recovered 158 bodies and continue to search for an unknown number of missing people. The damage recalled the aftermath of a tsunami, with survivors left to pick up the pieces as they mourn their loved ones. In the badly hit town of Chiva, where it rained more in eight hours than it had in the preceding 20 months, local resident, Juan Vicente Perez, wept as he pointed out the remains of his partially collapsed house. I have been there all my life, all my memories are there, my parents live there, they all live there, and now in one night it is all gone," he said. He said he and his wife fled to a neighbor's house just minutes before his own home was hit by the floods. He said there was no warning from the authorities but believed that everyone was taken by surprise by the ferocity of the flash floods that swept away everything in their path. Another local resident said people were starting to do what they could to clean up the town. While authorities were giving out food, water and clothes, there was still no water, gas or electricity, the locals said. This week's flash floods are also Spain's deadliest natural tragedy in living memory, surpassing the flood that swept away a campsite along the Gallego River in Baescas, in the northwest, killing 87 people in August 1996. La que se acaba de destruir o la del lado? Esa, la, la, la que tiene el agujero. La sí. otra. ¿Cuál ha caído? Pues toda la vida, tengo 62 años. Toda la vida ahí. Todo, todos mis recuerdos, mis padres y mi hermano. 
casa, me dieron todo. Y, y ahora de la noche a la mañana esto digo, y, y por cinco minutos más no, no estamos vivos porque no fuimos a casa de los vecinos a los que tengo que estar agradecidos, Arthur, Amparo, Iker y Evan, ahí en los pisos de frente. Si no, si tardamos cinco minutos más, ya no, ya no estaríamos en el mundo. Pero la casa blanca? Aviso no hubo ninguno, o sea, nosotros también creo que al final se lo sobrepasó a todo, porque esto, esto, es verdad que se debería de avisar, pero en, en esas circunstancias no, no, no creo que nadie pudiera hacer nada tampoco, era una cosa fuera de lo normal, jamás vista en la edad que tengo yo y en la edad de mis padres, Nada, en la riada famosa del 57 que yo no había nacido, mis padres no, dijeron que aquí no pasó nada, en esta calle. Y, pero bueno, es, es, ha sido una hecatombe, una hecatombe, hija mía.